Hello everybody, my name is Jay DeMarg from Dali.net.au. This is our first Dali episode for our new online YouTube channel designed to raise awareness for Dali. Over time, once you see what Dali really can do, it should become apparent that it really is different to other deeming systems. This is a free series, but if you do want to know more about Dali or you'd like some training, please send us an email. Okay, let's get started. Our first episode is going to be on Dali fade time. So fade time is the time the light shall take to smoothly dim between where it is now and where you want it to be. So what that means is when you go up to a switch on the wall, you turn the lights on, they don't come on instantaneously, but you might have a fade time and it might take one second and then you get this really nice feeling when the lights come on. And you might have the same thing when you turn the lights off. So when you go to the wall, you press the switch for the lights to turn off, you might get a nice ramp down. And they're just little things that make the person turning the lights on and off just feel really nice and it's really awesome. The other thing about fade time is Dali is a digital system, so the D in Dali stands for digital. So with digital, you have different steps and each step is the fading position or the dimming position of the light. So you don't want the system to be moving up one step at a time, especially with LEDs now, they're very, very sensitive. And there could be a chance where the person turning the light on or off or dimming the light might see a slight flicker or, or something like that, which you know look, looks a bit cheap. So what a fade time does with Dali is it is a smooth curve from point A to point B. So if you have the lights halfway, you say I want to dim the lights all the way down and I want it to take four seconds. The light itself has the smarts on board that it will dim all the way down to that bottom point uh, smoothly without you having to calculate anything. It's all done in the light. So th this prevents any sort of visual flicking or f flashing that you may see. And the other really cool thing is every ballast can have its own speed. So that can actually allow you to have the one simple command, lights turn on or lights turn off or whatever it may be. Uh, but you can actually have different speeds to create different effects for special situations. So with Dali, any system that has a Dali component can do this. Because it's the first episode, I probably should explain that. So some people think I need Control System X with Dali to do this special Dali thing. If it's Dali, it's Dali. When you want this nice fading up and fading down, Dali actually takes care of it. The control system really doesn't do much at all. It just says lights turn on or lights turn off or lights do this. And then the settings in the Dali and the smarts in the Dali fitting do it. And that's one of the reasons why Dali is different to other systems. So that means you get a consistency. It doesn't matter what control system you have. You may have standalone or you may have control system A or control system D. You can get all these effects out of it. And additionally, there are some people who may be watching who program a specific control system that they love. I see this all the time. They get really upset because, you know, how dare I suggest that Dali should be able to have a nice smooth dimming curve on its own without control system, you know, X that I love making that happen. And hopefully some of those guys are watching because the purpose of these videos isn't to try and say don't use your control system. The purpose of these videos is to show what Dali can do. And if you are using a control system with Dali and you can see all the things that Dali can do, as a professional, this will allow you to do things quicker. You'll get more out of your control system and you'll hopefully be able to do things that you couldn't do before or you may be able to do them faster or smarter. Okay, now I want to show you guys how to change and set up the fade time. And I've just got a made up example here. Let's say there's a room, it's all one Dali group and uh, there's a switch on the wall and the exit for whatever reason isn't near where the switch is so it's real annoying they have to go turn the switch off and then the lights turn off and then they have to walk out through the exit let's say that 
we want to create the exit path, the lights along the line there to the exit path, we want to dim down at a slower rate, maybe give the person 30 or 40 seconds to walk out of the room, whereas the rest of the room we want to sort of turn off quickly because otherwise it feels like you haven't pressed the button to turn the switch off. And I want to show you how to do this just with Dali. Probably some guys out there who know how to program a control system with Dali and you might be thinking, oh, I can create a second group for the exit path and then I can send different commands at different times to make the path show up and, you know, go down at a different rate and, you know, I can have all this logic happening off the switch. And this comes down to knowing what Dali can and can't do because you don't have to do any of that really all you need to do is put in a different fade time for those lights going to the exit path keep all the lights in a group. When you press the switch off, if you use the correct command, then all the lights that aren't in the exit path will turn off quickly, and the ones leading to the exit path can take 30 or 40 seconds. It's very simple. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. This software here is called Master Configurator from Tridonic. It's free software. You will need the Dali USB to use it, and that allows us to connect to a Dali line and see all the settings and change the settings of all the lights. Here we have our light so it's just a matter of selecting our light here is the fade time and then if we move that slider there you can see all the different fade times that you can set in the light find the setting that you want you hit save and what's different with Dali is that setting is actually saved in the ballast which I've said before if you take that light out or that ballast and you put it in another system that fade time is still going to be in effect or if you turn the light off if there's a power failure the light comes back on it's permanently saved on the light so it's going to continue to do that now if you use a control system you can probably use your control system to set these settings uh, the reason I'm using master configurator is that way I'm not biased to any particular system this is raw Dali and if I can do it here in master configurator then if you have a control system then you should be able to do it as well because it, it's something as simple that standalone Dali can do. Now over here I have a Dali switch so this is the Dali switch I want to show you here what commands will use the fade time and what commands won't and this is also important if you have a control system because if you know what commands will use the fade time what commands won't can plan your system properly so in the last example where we had that hallway going to the exit when you turn the light on you don't want that exit to come on slowly over the fade time you want that to come on instant so if you know what you're doing you can use the one group the one set of fade times send fade times that will make the lights adhere but also send other commands where the fade time is ignored. The Dali MC, we have a few settings here. Uh, this one is just pretty much when you press the command it does X and then you press it again it does Y and you can set up here what command you want to happen. So in this example here we have DAP as direct dark power command so when we press the button it goes to 100% when we press it again it turns off. If we were to select fade rate here we can then select any of the fade rates now if we don't select fade rate, what will happen is the fade rate won't get overwritten, so that's if you don't sync your fade rate, but if the light has a fade rate in it, it's going to do that fade rate anyway. So this is a way of overriding it, and control systems can often do this as well, where you say, yes, I want you to go to 0%, but overwrite whatever you had with this fade rate. Alright, if you don't want to override that, and so in our group example we want the lights to turn on instantly but we want to save the fade rate because we had to go and manually set fade rates on certain lights but not put the same fade rate into other lights so what you can do is instead of using 100 percent we would use recall max because it doesn't matter what the fade rate is recall max setting is always instant and similar with off so if there's a situation where you want the lights to turn off instantly you use the off command but if you want the lights to turn off use the fade rate what you then do is you use the direct dark power command and you put a value of zero so to a lot of people who are new to Dali these commands recall max and go to 100% uh, turn off and go to 0% seem the same but if you know your Dali you'll actually know that there are subtle differences and there's a reason why you use one or use the other. Uh, the other commands that use the fade rate are go to scene. So if we use go to scene, so there they all are there, the lights will use the fade rate 
to go to that C. The other commands though, up, down, step up, step down, recall max, recall min, they all ignore the fade rate. So fade rate is purely for scene and intensity. Here's another example. Let's say you have a sensor and that sensor is connected to your control system. You're not monitoring lux, you're just doing presence detection and then after so much time of nothing being detected you want the lights to turn off. But if someone walks in the room you want the lights to turn on straight away. And with the MC we can actually do stairwell function which imitates that. What you would do is you can have recall max for your on command. So that will turn the lights on straight away. And and what some people do is, if you don't understand fade rate, you might think, oh, I don't want the lights to turn off straight away, so I'm going to the lights at 20%, and then if there still isn't any movement, I'm going to turn them off. So instead of doing that, you can actually not worry about any logic, uh, save yourself a bit of time, and set your direct arc power straight away to zero, and set the fade rate in the lights to something like 90 64 seconds and what that will do is after the time that there's been no motion so here with that that's one minute six minutes and again you, if you're using control system you're probably going to set this in the control system if you've got standalone dial you can just set it in the MC and so what will happen is after that six minutes the lights will turn off but because we're using direct arc power command zero they will use the fade rate of 90 seconds and over the course of a minute and a half those lights will turn off which is a really nice effect and then if the lights are fading and someone moves because the sensor hasn't picked them up because they're sitting really still the recall max command will put the lights back on instantly so that's a good example of if you know your fade rates work you can save yourself a lot of logic a lot of time and uh, you can get some really really nice effects happening out of Dali okay that's it for episode one fade time with Dali thank you for watching the video this far I hope you learned something Please subscribe if you like the video, we plan to be doing a whole lot more of these and uh, if you would like training you can email us at training at dali.net.au Please support us from our Dali store www.dali.net.au and uh, you can get a Dali USB if you want to try what churn in this video yourself and if you want to post comments if there's anything Dali related that you'd like us to cover in future episodes put it in the comments and we will read through them and maybe there's something there we can do. All right, thank you very much. See you next time.